welcome to the Moss Library. Oh, so I was uh, just taking off with my career as a photographer. I was so excited about getting going this spring and I had lots of shoots booked and then, you know, COVID happened. So had to sort of like turn inside, um, spent a few days being very sad about not being able to do what I wanted to. And then it kind of shifted to what can I do? So went to uh, doing a lot of selfies, practicing on myself. Um, and then I learned about something called a virtual photo shoot that I thought was completely out of the box. I had no idea what it was. A photographer that I really respect started doing them. So I thought, why not try? And then I had someone who actually wanted to pay me to do one. They requested to be in the Moss Library for a shot. So that's sort of how the two things connected. Oh, it all started on Instagram. And uh, then I started a blog. So I would take um, every week I had a different idea. So I did, uh, I made a fascinator out of Moss. I did a portrait shoot with that. I posted that. So it's almost like there was a new chapter to the Moss Library that was, was happening every week. I think my sister-in-law really got me into Moss, um, but I also really appreciated it too. Um, but really during quarantine, when I came up in February, Moss was like the only green thing I could find at the time. So I was really drawn to it. I think that's why I started to really fall in love with it. The Moss Library, um, it's a collection of moss that I've been sort of, I guess, collecting as I've been going around hiking during my time in quarantine. Um, I started collecting it, putting it under the stairs, and um, then I started sharing it online. And it became more of this like community space where people were virtually visiting and I felt more connected with people. So I started calling it a library because it felt like that community space where people could come and, you know, get to know each other and connect with one another and then also you know being connected with nature so talking about the moss and um, categorizing the different kinds people are getting really interested in that and then I, I feel like getting more connected with nature so um, we've got moss lichen um, lots of different bug species that I found if you you know you have a clump of moss that you haven't touched in a while you can kind of flip it over and then see all the little creepy crawlies that are underneath um, we have a toad now that's moved in, so I think one little hutch in there is that's the toad's house now. We're not going to touch it. Um, and I, I think I have, I, I was writing down all the different species of moss that I have found. I think I have over 13, but again, I'm still learning and still finding out. So I am learning quite a lot. Um, I've been doing a lot of macro photography, trying to figure out the different types that I have and learning about what they need to live and, you know, giving them all the love that they need. Um, so I think that it's definitely always a learning process and actually I just found a new moss that I didn't know I had and then I sort of went down this like research hole of like what is this where does it come from all that kind of stuff. I get all pretty much all kinds of stuff from people. Um, really interesting feedback in terms of the different renovations to the library. So some people will suggest, you know, add a moat. Or um, last night someone messaged me saying, can you put a trail to nowhere into the library? Um, a while back someone asked for a hot tub and I had to get a little creative. So I just found like a little pot and I dug it in and I put moss in it. So it's like the moss hot tub. So I've had, yeah, lots of really interesting feedback about it none really positive or none really negative just a lot of positive coming at me and then also other people are creating their own libraries so I've been calling it like more branches are opening up all over Ontario which is amazing <laughs> Well, uh, my father-in-law has his own branch in Toronto, so I think that kind of sums it up. <laughs>